Welcome to another episode of Look What I Found. And uh, this is a, a late woodland Indian artifact piece. Late woodland means it could date back anywhere from 500 years to 1400 years. And I found this on South Bates Street on the west side here in Saginaw, Michigan. Um, this uh, spring and summer I've been really surprised at the Native American artifacts I've found at uh, houses where there have been tear outs done because I've found a lot. But um, the nutting stone, as this is called, or, or, uh, or uh, sandwich stone, also just called the grinder, is uh, an early word processor, or word pro um, food processor, if you will. The one side has a slight indentation worn into it where um, acorns or walnuts or whatever were placed and then another another rock smashed against them and then the edges of the of either of the rocks were used for grinding the uh, the product into a finer um, powder or flour in some cases if you will so again these are called sandwich stones um, nutting stones or just plain grinding stone I found um, a number of them up in Nascota, Michigan when I worked at the um, on the old Manhattan Creek site um, there in in Nascota <coughs> and um, and I also saw a matched set of sandwich stones in the collection of my dear friend now deceased Jerry Wagner he had a he had this pair that he found on display at his museum at Fort Wagner Oscoda, Michigan oh pretty close to where Smith Air Force Base used to be um, so these are rather common finds but um, they're a find that most people look past because they don't have that uh, <clears throat> that same well-defined shape as an arrowhead or a spear point or a celt or an axe has. These are slightly modified stones and the, the modification that you see actually comes from the process of using them. I found a year or so ago here on the west side also a mortar which was used of course for grinding also and uh, that was a nice piece. It was more defined than, than the uh, nutting stone because it had a very deep depression in the stone where things were ground using a mortar or uh, excuse me a pestle in conjunction with the mortar. Now this one I've, as I said I found on Bates Street and I've been kind of been eyeing this stone for a couple months as I've walked past um, sorry I got interrupted by a cell phone sometimes I hate cell phones but at any rate um, what I was saying was that I've been eyeing this stone for quite a while its general shape made me believe that it was a sandwich or nutting stone but it was uh, by a sidewalk in somebody's uh, um, flower garden but these people were total um, how can I say it, assholes in the winter time they'll pile their snow up as high as they can in the in the sidewalk so you have to walk out into the into the road to go around their place and um, so I didn't feel bad when I went down at 1130 last night and uh, popped the stone out of the dirt and um, and brought it home I doubt that they'll ever miss it but I know that if I had asked them for it they wouldn't have given it to me so I'm not a proponent of theft but my father made this stone that would be God of course so again a nice a nice piece found quite by accident here in Saginaw it's interrupted by the cell phone again I found Indian artifacts at a wide variety of places here this summer or this past spring and summer um, and if you damn it there's a cell phone again Okay, that's the third time interrupted by a cell phone. Let me see if I can remember where I was and hope we finish this recording this time. 
Okay. Um, oh yeah. It shouldn't surprise me a whole lot that I find artifacts all over um, the uh, west side here because um, there was such a large Indian population in the Sa in Saginaw and in the Saginaw Valley over the years. Um, I'm going to have to pause this again for a damn motorcycle coming. Um, anyway, such a large population at different time frames. And uh, Saginaw was kind of like the uh, cultural center um, here in, uh, in Michigan. So, anyways, I just wanted to share this particular find with you. It is, as I said, late woodland quite a bit newer, if you will, than the late archaic pieces that I've been, that I've been finding. So, one thing I've learned to do in my past 30, 35 years of hunting artifacts and relics is to keep your eyes trained to the ground because you never know what it is that you're going to find. Well, thanks for uh, tuning in. Hope you all have a great evening. God bless and take care.